What's up? Good day, good day everyone. It is runoff day here in the bright, sunshiny, partly cloudy Georgia day. And uh, I just did it again. It feels like the definition of insanity, but hey, our president told us to vote to come out for the runoff, so we did. That's what we did. Came close to not doing it. it was traveling for a couple days on vacation with the family, much needed vacation, and uh, wasn't sure it was going to be back in time. I was trying to early vote, but that didn't happen but i was able to get in there today it didn't take no time at all there's at the precinct uh near my house it's 4 24 in the afternoon eastern time on the 5th of january so they had up to me 521 people so i was the 522nd person at that precinct which is like I mean, there must have been a lot of, I guarantee there's probably a lot of early voting, but this doesn't seem like much. Of course, work hasn't really got out for most people. They might be getting out of work right now. I probably just beat the rush, <clears throat> but a couple observations. Of course, they're mass Nazis and whatever. I told them I would socially distance and stay away from everybody. They didn't like that, but you know, I think they know not to argue too much. But, uh, so that, you know, just right off the bat, the lady at the front is already asking you to put a mask on, even though I'm, there's no one, I'm literally the only one there to vote. And the only people are there, are the employees. And, um, <laughs> I walk in, the lady's probably 20 feet from me and she's asking me to put a mask on. There's no one else in the foyer. I mean, this foyer is probably like maybe 35 feet wide by 20 feet deep and it's like there's no one in there but me and her and she's 20 she's on the other side of the room <clears throat> asking me to put a mask on it just seems kind of ridiculous but whatever so anyway we got past that and then I got some eye rolls in the hallway when I approached because you know I'm sure people who are out there not wearing their masks know that you know you, you notice when when uh other people come near you that are wearing masks and you can tell how they're getting treated a lot better and more humane and treated like a human being which is counterintuitive because you can't see the face but you know it's almost like their way of punishing you or what have you ostracizing you anyway i'm getting off on a tangent the point is i just voted it took two seconds if you're in georgia get your ass to the polls it closes at seven you got no excuse you know um, if you're here, just do it. I know it seems counterintuitive. Um, I was able to capture a, a picture of the screen showing Dominion voting systems and all that other shit. So, you know, it's, it's a crock of crap that prints out the paper ballot. And then you have to go over to this trash can looking thing and scan your ballot through there, but it doesn't tell you which way to scan it doesn't say whether to go upright or down or whatever and then it gives you a message saying ballot accepted it's just it's very strange having to use an electric system to print the paper ballot it's like why not just fill out the paper ballot and skip the electric voting oh that's right because then you couldn't rig it that's right silly me i almost forgot oh man anyway figured i'd share it's really not that big of a deal but the way I see it, um, I'm just hoping that it's going to show, in my opinion, it only gives us more data. It only gives us more evidence because it's in, like the entire state of Georgia is run by uh, a voting is running is running off of Dominion. So that being said, you know, they're going to try if there's any major discrepancies between the, the, the regular uh, primary uh, uh, or general, I'm sorry, and this runoff. Um, if there's any major discrepancies they're going to try to explain it probably by saying oh well not that many people showed up and not as many people or what have you but you know that's it's gaslighting it's going to show you know let's say they don't rig it and the numbers are just way off from the original ones well that's going to look weird 
And if they do rig it, then we're going to have more evidence of them rigging it. Either way, <clears throat> it's good for us and bad for them, in my opinion. I don't think a runoff helps them. If, if, if they had their way, the machines would be already destroyed because this runoff was a big deal because it caused a lot more time. It, it allowed a lot for a lot more time to scrutinize this shit and really look at it. So, you know, I'm sure the bad guys didn't want it to be that close, but they were afraid if they kept rigging, it would just be that much more obvious. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't have any faith as far as I can throw one of those machines into somebody's front yard out of a moving vehicle, you know, maybe a couple feet. But other than that, I don't trust them from here to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I'll tell you that much right now. So, uh, yeah, been traveling a lot, guys. So it's not been uh, in the last couple of days. And, and tomorrow I'm probably going to have a travel day too on the 6th. So I'm not going to be around as much, hopefully. But I'll try to keep my eyes and ears. And I know you felt... Uh, Anons will tag me in good stuff that I'll, I'll be able to see and help fill in the blanks and get the messages out there. So I always appreciate that. Where we go on, we go all. Peace out. If you're headed to DC, be safe. Make smart choices. Don't let don't let them suck you into their trap. Don't walk into any traps now. Be safe. Take care of each other. Love each other. See y'all later. Bye.